Also, to all my fellow viewers out there that are watching this video, you may have known that the other day I have opened up a post stating the following. What video would you like to potentially see next from me? And many of you have chosen this topic for me to tackle and talk about. I guess given the title, it makes it very interesting as to what exactly I'm talking about. The other video ideas will be made sometime later on. So without further ado, let's get into it. So have you guys ever heard of this site called Tubi? Yeah, I sure have. Tubi's a site where you can pretty much browse through TV shows and movies for free. Except, for the most part, there's a lot of slop on there that are pretty dog shit. But not everything on the service is bad. So one day, I was deciding to browse through the site out of boredom, and I came across this anime that's not very well known, which is called Anaseva. I think that's how you pronounce it, or is it Anaseva? I don't fucking know. This anime is interesting. Very interesting, in fact, that it feels similar to another anime that I tackle on this channel for past couple years. Yeah, if you already couldn't guess, yes, this show <laughs> features anthropomorphic animals in an office setting. Gee, I wonder what other show has tackled this such thing. Oh yeah, Gretzko. Duh. Okay, anyway, this was left under my radar. I'm like, huh, why haven't I heard of this series before? What exactly is this show, and who made it, and why? Why does it exist? Anaseva was animated by TMS Entertainment. Now, unfortunately, not much information can be found of this series and how it was even made, why it was even made, and who created it exactly. But it ran for 13 episodes and it broadcast on Crunchyroll at the time. Nowadays, it seems like the show has been removed off their platform, given the poster and comparing it to... Well, the cast of Agretzko, you can clearly see that, don't they look quite similar? I mean, I hope I'm not the only one who thinks this way. And given the comments on some of the episode uploads by the official channel, it's not hard to see why that people think of it being sort of the same with each other. But you know what's interesting to me is that this show came out before Agretzko. Hence the title, Did Agretzko Plagiarize This Anime? We're going to be tackling that right now and pretty much going through some of the episodes. And hopefully with this video I can help boost people's interest in this show and if they ever want to talk about it themselves. I think I'm the only person on this platform that is the first to be reviewing this series. Anyway, let's get into it. So we have a lovely cast of characters. Why don't we go through them one by one? We got Jake Wilde, who is the bear, Jenny Sanders as the pink cat, Selena, yeah, she has no last name, as, from what I can tell, a squirrel, Fred, who is the blue bunny, Zack the gorilla, David the lion, Rosa the fox, Beth the elephant, Will the bird, Chloe the sheep, Michelle the panda, Andrew the kangaroo, and Nicholas the tiger. I'm just going off by what the fucking wiki has told me with these characters, because I can't remember every single character when I watched through this series. But yes, if anyone is wondering, this show does have a dub I will be showing most footage of, if I somehow don't get copyright claimed. Anywho, with me getting my rambling off the ground, let's talk about it. So, we have an interesting opening intro. Huh, doesn't go as hard as the Agretzko opening, that's for sure. And this episode is called... Give it your all, Jake! Behold, General Corporation... Man, I wonder if this show takes place within the same universe as Agretzko. Maybe they're trying to compete with the Trading Mom Carrying Company. Who knows, maybe this is some form of continuity error that I just didn't know within the lore of a Gretzko. Meet Jake Wilde. Although he looks like a deer, I can assure you, he's a bear. Yeah, as if I couldn't tell by your design. And the vibes I get off of Jake is kind of equivalent to Haida, if you ask me. Every single one of these people is bat turned crazy. Really now? Really? Do they look that crazy? I don't think they look as crazy 
as any of the Agretzko designs themselves. They look tame by comparison. Are you kidding me? Huh? Today. Now. Here. Uh, um, um, I... We wander randomly into a crappy dive looking for cheap late night junk food and you choose this locale to propose? Nice one, Jake. Nice fucking job. You dumbass. And on the romantic day where I had to sit and watch David busting your balls for an hour. Wait, did he just... Wait, wait, wait. David busting his balls? That sounds very wrong if you ask me. What, did she get cucked by him one time? Is this some secret that I just don't know about? We're like, not even two minutes in. I know I'm kind of over-exaggerating here, but... What the fuck is going on? Everything is just rushing through. You couldn't take some time to find an appropriate day and plan something special then? <laughs> yeah, so that's like the best way to propose to your girlfriend. Yes, people, go to a fucking nearby local restaurant or some fast food place and boom, that's exactly where you want to do it at. Even if it's a Mickey D's like a few blocks away from where you live. Cheers! Cheers. To your 10th failed wedding proposal. To my 10th failed... Wait, what the f You've had 10 chances to become a bachelor again. The manager won't take me seriously. Jenny won't take me seriously. My friends don't take me seriously. My god, how much of a virgin do you gotta be? What a sad sap you are. I have to give apologies to Haida. Cause, I mean, who the fuck fails 10 times at doing a proposal? Man, I already hate this guy. Jake, you are one, one pathetic, pathetic loser. loser. My life is a bad joke. You've been the best bad joke since high school, Jake. Cheers. No. Finally, I say no. I reject this idea that I'm a joke. You hear that, everyone? The laughter stops here. Dude, shut the fuck up. I know you're an entire joke. Your whole design is a joke. Your whole voice acting is a joke. Give this man a clown outfit, everyone. Just give him it. At this point, don't, don't even try to praise him. He's gotta be one of the worst characters to be introduced in an actual anime. I'm like, come on, how exactly can this go on for? Jake Wild, no joke. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, loser. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, another round. What's going on with you and Justin, Selena? You're like a dog without a bone. I forget to write IRU in my last text, and he goes radio silent for three days. IRU? I love you. Ah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I can't, man. The pacing. How these characters are just shown on screen. I'm trying to process everything that's going on. He thinks those little things are so important. He's acting more like a domesticated house cat than a hound dog. Men are forever children. They get quiet when they're mad. You fucking bitch. How dare you. Ooh, I'm so offended. Oh, I'm so triggered by your words. Oh my. I can't even believe you would say something like that about me. I'm about to sabotage all feminism up in this bitch. I'm kidding, by the way. Do not get up all over my ass over this goddamn joke. I know how Twitter is. Sometimes quiet is good. For us too. You know, some men have no skills in the sack, but if you just stay quiet instead of complaining a few times, they start to come around and actually progress just a tad. How does that pertain to Selena's situation? I'm just saying, be quiet. And sometimes, life gets better. Or worse, depending on the man. Yeah, hear that Twitter users. Take that into account. She's actually giving you useful advice unlike most of the human population these days. She's base as fuck. Some guys are so maddening. Oh, believe me, I'm actually a lot better than most people make me out to be. All the decisions, literally down to what he would wear on a date. You're talking about Jake? No. It's obvious, Jenny. How was the little bear in the hay? I've always wondered. I'm not talking about Jake. Why would I want to talk about him anyway? Wow, I'm... But boy, do I have to feel sorry for you. Or should I feel sorry for him? I, I don't even know anymore. I, I'm sure there's not um, any people out there that like this character or has made some very suggestive, inappropriate material out of her. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't think there is at all whatsoever. She's like the only known character besides maybe Rosa to be known for this show, despite its uh, obscurity. Okay, we went to a complete 180. That's gotta be the hottest sex I've ever seen. Man, I, that, that's where most of the budget went into. Jeez, it, it, this has a higher budget than season 5 of a Gretzko, and that's telling us something. Well, he's not bad. <laughs> he's not bad, yet you, you fucking bitched about him for like the last few seconds. Oh wait, am I, am I contradicting myself? Am I that much of a hypocrite? Oh shit. For a bear, Jake. And unless you bear up, you don't stand a chance with a cat like me. <laughs> maybe if she was less condescending and more considerate with her lover, yeah, maybe I would end up with her instead. You know what? Just leave Jake on the side. Maybe I will end up with you instead. You know, let, let's let's talk things out. I didn't. I don't think he liked what I said about his girl. I I better get out of here. All right, so um, that's literally the first episode in a nutshell. But you know, here's the truth in all of this. You know what? I mean, you guys, if you want to, go 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 take Jenny because I mean, she really isn't all my type. If I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, I'd probably end up with Selena instead. Just because if you guys know me from my past, you know I have a thing for Sonoda, so you know what, fuck it, I'll go with her instead. And if you watch the series, um, you'll understand why. Now, I would end it there, but since I feel like this video is a little too short as it is, why not I also talk about the last episode of the series? If you haven't watched the whole series yourself, you can find it within the description, or if you have, then just stick around because I feel like you'll personally want to watch through it in full before seeing what I have to say for the last episode. But if you already have, then here we go. I'm telling you, Jake is on top of our anniversary. Gee, I hope something doesn't go wrong as planned. I'm on my way to take my girlfriend to dinner. Well, that's great. I just got this lobster. I planned this one with Navy Seal-like precision. <laughs> What's that? Turban? Yes, Dennis? They're coming. Oh fuck. The babies are coming. Well, I think y'all know exactly what's He's about to happen. While you forget about me, distracted by some shiny object. <laughs> well, I hope nobody makes a nude edit out of that scene. Is that the noise she makes when she has an orgasm with him? Okay, breathe with me. Breathe. Breathe. Are you a doctor? No, I'm a designer. And, and yes, I'm really sorry to be staring at your wife's turtle vagina. Oh my god, you're such a fucking retard, Jake. Go kill- Oh my god, here they come! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord, I can't. Jake? We're saved! Jake! Jenny! Jake! Jenny! You don't have to yell. I know everything. Everything? So you know about the turtle vagina? Because I swear I only looked when I- Oh my god, do you have to say it again, my guy? Oh, guys, he's actually gonna do it. The thing he was supposed to do since the first episode. <laughs> These almost got away. <laughs> what a putz. That is one way to end your series. What a dumb fuck. So yeah, that was Anna Sava, or Anna Sava, I don't know. Who who gives a shit how you pronounce this series? It's not the best anime out there. I don't think Agresco plagiarized this series. It's a mere coincidence. Both series has office animals that are anthropomorphic. I don't think this show is all that bad. And no, I don't think Sanrio was trying to rip off Anaseva for Gretzko. It would just be really stupid for them to do. I don't know if it's really inspired or what, but think of this as like the predecessor to Gretzko as Agretzko is like the spiritual successor to Anaseva. But if you've watched through this series, what do you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below and just tell me what your favorite character is, because, I mean, at this point, I've already given mine out, but 
I don't think I have to repeat myself again. And do you wish that this show actually continued or not? I wouldn't say this is a terrible show. I highly recommend giving it a watch, and I'll leave the link down in the description if you want to watch through the episodes on the official TMS channel. So yeah, did Agretzko plagiarize this anime? Nope, not even close. This is Raging Red signing out. Have a good day everyone, peace out. Thank you.